Who would you choose? A rat or your mother? Powerful argument that, isn't it? A rat or your mum, dad or little sister? But it's not a real choice. It's science fiction. The animal experimentation industry has told us for years that we must choose between the life of a rat or the life of a loved one. But that's simply not true. What we have to choose is good science or bad science. And animal experimentation is just bad science. Scientists claim they can only find new safe drugs by testing them on animals. But animals are not the same as us, and their reactions to drugs are often very different to ours. Morphine puts us to sleep, but excites cats. We pop aspirin for aches and pains. It causes birth defects in mice and rats. The contraceptive pill can cause blood clots in humans. It has the opposite effect in dogs. Dogs don't suffer heart disease when they eat fatty meat, yet they're still used for research into the problem. Rats and mice get different types of cancer from humans, but still they're used for cancer research. It's crazy, but researchers try to recreate human problems in animals who never suffer from them. To mimic heart disease in beagles, they tighten a wire around a blood vessel leading to the heart. They inject cancer cells, sometimes directly into the eye or brain. For arthritis research, animals' joints are injected with chemicals to cause crippling swellings. So it's not surprising that drugs developed on animals often go wrong. Thalidomide was meant to cure morning sickness, but caused dreadful birth defects. Heraldin was introduced to relieve heart conditions, but caused blindness. Opram was meant to relieve arthritis, but led to liver damage and there are plenty of others. Testing is so unreliable that prescription drugs are now the fourth biggest cause of death in the USA. If we'd relied on rat tests, we'd still believe that humans didn't need vitamin C, that smoking doesn't cause cancer, and that alcohol doesn't cause liver damage. Heart bypass surgery was put on hold for years because it didn't work on dogs. It was denied for decades that asbestos could poison humans because it didn't poison animals. Researchers refused to believe that benzene could cause cancer in humans because it didn't cause it in animals. Polio researchers were misled for years about how we catch the disease because they were working on monkeys. We're now promised that with the mapping of the human genome, the DNA blueprint for human life, genetic engineering will provide a cure for practically all our diseases. It's much more likely to make fortunes for private companies. Scientists are a long, long way from understanding how DNA functions. But it won't stop them from cruelly maiming more and more animals. The favourite process is to knock out a single gene or introduce a foreign one. They have no idea what will happen, which is why mice have been born with grossly deformed organs. One of the promises is a cure for cancer. Yet after decades of animal experiments, cancer cases are increasing, not declining. One answer, they claim, is to make animals more like humans by adding a gene or two. They said this would help research into cystic fibrosis, a human lung condition. But genetically altering mice to mimic the problem has created bowel disorders, not lung disease. So, despite the promises, no miracle cures are in sight. 
The only way we're going to cure the diseases that plague mankind is through human-based research or technology. The animal experiments are totally irrelevant because the species differences between different animals are so vast in every field that you cannot apply the results from one species to another. You cannot apply the results on a mouse to a rat or vice versa. You cannot apply the results on one type of mouse to another type of mouse. And you certainly cannot apply those results from a mouse to a human being. Using animals as, as models for human beings in research and in safety testing and in drug development has meant that we have sometimes got the wrong answers, that there are medicines that might have been useful in people but were poisonous to animals and so they weren't developed. I think it means that toxic chemicals have been used because they appeared safe in animals but weren't for humans. And I think it's delayed medical progress. Animal experiments are not predictive for what will occur in human beings. There is no one animal or combination of animals that gives you the right result a majority of the time. You might as well flip a coin.